Hi, in this tutorial I will explain how to monitor items' performance within your smart folder. I'll show you multiple ways to sort and filter your collections so you can learn most valuable data. You can create folders of your social account, profiles of your competitors, influencers you work with, or of any industry you wish to research. I'll go with a folder of my own, which is this global airlines industry collection. Once we're in, you can see how many profiles and videos are already monitored in the folder. As you can see, I have the auto import button on, which means that all new uploads of these profiles are automatically imported to the folder. If I switch the get remaining videos button on too, then viral stat would also import old profiles videos to my folder. By old, I mean videos that were on the profiles before adding those to our database, and so would not be tracked unless downloaded upon request. I don't need to monitor them, but if you want all profiles videos in your folders, then go ahead and switch that button on. If your folder contains videos that you need to monitor more frequently, like an important campaign or so, then switch the pie tracking button here to have the statistic of all videos within your folder to be updated every 3 hours, rather than 24 by default. Once not needed, switch it off. Let's go back to the charts and collection views. In collection view, you will see the list of all items in your folder, profiles, videos and posts. As you can see, profiles lists can be searched through by various factors, title so that you can view only requested profiles, then the platform filter if you want to get items from Facebook, Instagram or YouTube only. Further on, you can sort the list by subscribers count, descending or ascending and even of any particular amount you can type in here. This sort will show you which profiles here have most or least funds. Note that in collection view, values of each metric are the total values acquired by profiles, videos and posts up to the recent statistic update, so they are accurate up to date. Chart view is built on values gained within a defined period, but we'll focus on that in a few minutes. Same rule as for subscribers amount sorting applies to the engagement filter. Again, descending, outstanding, or of any amount upon request. You can also sort your list by profiles creation time and the date added to the folder. If you don't want any of the profiles to be in your folder anymore, then just hit that remove button here. You will be asked if you're going to remove all of its videos along, which is entirely up to you. Moving on, we have videos collection. You can also sort the list of videos by filters here by the title, profile they belong to, and video's hosting platform. Further on, you can sort the list by descending or ascending view count, likes, dislikes, comments, shares, and engagement rate, or even by the upload time. Searching videos by the title means that you can filter out specific content by the hashtag or keyword. How does it help? Let's say that you want to see only videos about one particular subject or event but the list here seems endless to browse each page. There's no need to do that though, just type in relevant keyword and voila! All related videos are filtered out. Further on, you can search which of these videos are most viewed, most liked or most engaging ones simply by applying desired sorts here. You can even verify which of those videos were uploaded only recently or which ones are the oldest by defining the time frame here or filter out the videos from the desired period only. With post collection you can do the same research as with videos. So again, search the list of posts by the content, which means by any keyword or hashtag of your interest, so you don't have to browse through hundreds of pages. Just type in the keyword and viral stuff does the job for you in seconds. Then you can further sort the list with results by likes and comments amount to see most or least popular ones, choose the profile they belong to and even specify the type of posts if wanted. These can be links, statuses, photos or other. Here you can also define the publish date, most recent to the earliest, or filter out posts published within the desired period. Set mail alerts with folder updates or share your folder by generating the link here. Anyone who'll click on the link will be able to import this exact folder into his own collections, providing it's a registered user. Okay, we'll now switch the folder view to charts. 
As I mentioned before, the collection view is based on the total metric values up to the last statistics update. Charts view, on the other hand, is built on values going within the defined period. So as you can see, you can select the country from the drop-down list here, category, type and subtype of profiles or videos, depending on the chart which you want to create. Further on, you can sort your chart by most or least, popular, viewed, liked and so on within the time frame you specify here. Then select either totals or gain sort. Totals here differs from the collection view, where the totals values given were current only up to date. Here you can specify the time frame and see the totals current for that defined period. So if you'd want to check which profile was the most popular one, say, last month, then apply totals sort and the time frame. Same with videos. Which one were most viewed of all the videos across the folder last week? Choose videos, view sort, totals and the time frame. If, however, you'd want to see which item gave most value of a particular metric within the defined period, then select the item type, say profiles, then the parameter you want to inspect the gain of. Let's go with comments. The gain sort and the time frame, last seven days for example. And here it is, the list with most comment and profiles within last seven days. Switch sorts and filters as many times you'd like to and learn who has gained most popularity recently or which videos are most engaging within your folder. Once you apply your desired filters, view the chart. As you can notice, the items in your list have changed their color tone. These represent each of the items on the charts below. Items on the chart are the results of your sorts applied above, and there's precisely 10 of them on each page. You can select any page to view the chart of. Further on, charts can be displayed by the time frame here, group date, and totals or gains view. If you go with totals view, the values above the chart will show the summary for all 10 profiles metrics volume acquired by the end of that defined period, and the percentage value here will show the growth within the selected time frame. This way, you can check the inflow of subscribers, for example, within the last six months or any other period you'll select here. If you want to divide the data on the chart by any group, like daily, weekly or monthly periods, then apply the desired range and you'll see the total values for these periods exactly. If you switch to gains view at that moment, then you'll notice how it reflects on the chart. You will get the exact value gain at each stage within the selected time frame every day, week or month, depending on how you grouped your data here. And the value above the charts here will represent the growth of each metric within the defined time frame. Again, it's a summary for all 10 profiles in the table chosen above. Select any of the charts to inspect every metric growth over time. Learn when profiles acquired most subscribers, for example. Zoom the chart in to view the data in even more detail. It will help you to learn the exact performance of each profile and video within your folder. Determine which content is most appreciated and with the highest engagement. You can also easily export any smart folder view here and then use for any purposes. So I think we're done here. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.